All right, so back at it again. Um, it's been a little bit since I've done one of these uh, white tower builds because um, I've been busy and just doing other stuff. So I um, wanted to get in here and kind of show you what's been going on. I think last time uh, we redid the front entrance. I also put some skins on last time. I actually downloaded a patch and it reverted back to original, which is fine. Makes it just as easy. Um, so. Not sure how far along I was last time. I didn't go back and check, but so um, you can see we kind of have some carpet down here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these stripes or not for right now. Just kind of as a placeholder, still doing these stripe things. Um, kind of what I want to do today is probably just kind of round out and finish, at least working on uh, these rims. There's two sets of rims going down here. Um, just open up all the doors there and finish up the all the um, uh, torches and probably just build up the next level um, and then from there kind of figure out what I want to do with these rooms um, you know down the lower levels I made a bedroom so in this level mm, yep uh, these are all bedrooms in this level so when you go out and find a room so I'll show you so we're gonna go run around and find a room random room to go into so they're all kind of bedrooms um, I say that, and this one doesn't actually have a bed in it. Um, oh, did they actually, with the new patch, I don't know, did the beds get taken out? Let's see. That's a good question. Are all the beds gone? It looks like they might be all gone. So maybe that's what we're doing. Um, or maybe they were just placeholders and I didn't got it. Nope, there's a bed. Because I didn't got around to making beds yet. Um, yeah, so we can add some beds in there. Why not? Uh, bed's going to go right here. So, let's go to our design. Um, so what are we gonna be using? Uh, we're definitely gonna build some doors. Um, I'm gonna go with this jungle wood door. And then we're definitely gonna build a ceiling, which is just regular oak uh, flooring slash ceiling. Uh, we're probably gonna build up that second tower, or second part, so that's white concrete. So let's find white concrete. Um, there's pink concrete. There's white concrete. Um, I'll leave some dirt in there just because why not? Um, not gonna do carpet today. I might. Since of how long, how long is down here? And then we'll see some beds. So beds are only down at the bottom. The bottom at least. There's beds. So um, let's kind of pick a random color. How about? Uh, an orange bed. We'll do an orange bed, maybe like a, a a light blue bed. We can do whatever, do whatever we want. Um, and then what else? Got dirt already. Maybe we'll do some cobblestone. Um, either find the cobblestone. There we go, cobblestone. So we can do some walkways. Um. And then the last two, what, what should we do? Uh, we can do some stone. Um, so we are doing the stone outer wall there. And maybe do a layout for the next floor, which I'm gonna use a different type of wood, probably do acacia. All right, that should be a good way to start. Um, so we'll check all these rooms first, see if we have places to put beds. Um, oh, I did not want to go in there. So, easy enough. Do, do, do. This one had the bed. So we'll just go check all these rooms and see if there's beds in them. Um, and if there's not, oh, oops. Well, need to put another chest there. Um, let's go find chests there towards the bottom too. I do like to put chests in the room just because if we do ever open the server, it allows people to kind of like claim a room and um, and put down like there's stuff in here because you can like store stuff. There's also a chest here, these sulker boxes, which is kind of cool the way they open. Kind of looks all magical. Um, let's go look at these rooms, see if there's beds. Yep, there's a bed. It might have just been those rooms. Um, we'll check a few more. Yeah, I think it was just those. There's a few I had, I think I just, when I put the roof on I, or ceiling, 
I just forgot to put it in. And then these are... Yep. So it might have just been those two rooms. Yep, beds. Beds. Bed. Alright. I'm seeing a pattern here, guys. I think I just forgot two beds out of all of them. You know, that's pretty good. If all we're doing is forgetting two beds, I think we're doing a good job. Um... And I don't know whether I want to use these same doors in every floor. Um, so I did put this marker, as you can see, so that way you know it's time to go across. That's what I need. I need a torch, because we're going to need some torch light, too. Um, torch, torch, torch. There we go. Oh, no, not that. I know what just happened there. All right, let's go back down and find torch. Torch light. Mm. Let's place that. All right. So now we'll go up. Right, so let's go ahead and get the torches out first. Um, and we'll put all the torches around. I don't know if I have the outer wall all done. Looks like I put some carpet down there. So I'm just gonna check this outer perimeter, make sure that we can see there's, oh, nope, oh, yep. Looks like we might have torches for this entire floor. Double check this last wall. Yeah, it looks good. So. Um, and do torches on this side too. So what I'd like to do for the torches is to do it every on. Um, so if you see the position up at the top left, it's 89. If we go across, we get to five. Do it on fives and tens, and then cross uh, doubles on doors. So I'll show you what I'm talking about when I get there. It just gives me a. It's a good five's a good number. I don't know. It gets good light. It seems to work for me. Uh, of course, the 50 spot's going to be. Uh, that door, so you see you have a door here, so we're gonna boom boom. It looks like we were using jungle doors on this floor anyway, so that works. Look at that, I actually remembered something. Artistic interpretation. Alright, so we got all that down. So yeah, so these are all gonna be those rooms I was talking about. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in them yet. Whether they're gonna be more bedrooms or are just going to be Maybe put some desks and chairs. Yes, yeah, since I have a whole nother floor for bedrooms. Um, really open for suggestions on what I should put in these. Um, let's see, I got those doors. All right. Let's go ahead and put more doors in. Um, So I'm hesitant to do too much, um, like, admin type rooms or something like that, like, our studies, just because I'm going to have the Azure levels going up as you get higher, where all of the different colored Ajas reside in their living quarters. So this is more like, I don't know, guests and maybe, maybe some administration type stuff. I mean, the White Tower is gigantic, as you can tell from this build. And all right, so that's all the inner doors are done. I'll go back and do some of these outer doors later. Right now, I'm just gonna keep on. Let me do a quick flyover because I haven't done that in a while either. So here's where we are. So we've cleared out a lot of the grounds. Um, you can see how much more we have left to clear. So this is the outer wall. Of the tower guard of tower grounds, have to clear this mountain. Still, finish doing that. Um, once the tower is complete, I also on the sides. These are going to be the accepted and novice quarters. On either side, the actual front of the tower is going to be over here, approaching from the south, um, and eventually build out Tarvalon with the two rivers running on either side and make it an island. Um, 
and a whole city around it eventually, years from now, or if I get help sooner. <laughs> really just depends. Uh, it is a gigantic build, so it's going to take a while to clear all this out. Um, but I have been doing a pretty good job. This is going to be the biggest pain. That mountain. I could dynamite it like I did the other mountain over here. The problem is it just... It doesn't, it's, even when you dynamite stuff, it just, then you have to fill stuff in. Cause you can see right here, like where I blew up this mountain to shit. You can see, and then I built the, you know, it's going to be the outside wall. But like, now I'm going to have to fill in all of this crap. So, you know, win some, you lose some when you're using TNT. So anyways, um, yeah, I'll do a couple of, uh, maybe I'll get a floor going. Um, all right, now I have to round out this stairwell. So that's going to be the stairwell going all the way up. And of course, this is going to be the hall of the tower going all the way up as well. Looks a lot cooler than the TV show when they have it around. But making a round room is really tough. I still have the Amelin seat in the middle. This would be the Keeper of the Chronicles. If you watch the most recent episode um, on Amazon Prime, the Keeper of the Chronicles was that woman with the staff that like, um, like said silence. And so that was staying like right right here. Um, I gave her a seat. And then these would be the sitters. Now, they had three sitters per Aja on the show. I just went for one sitter. I know there can't be multiple sitters, but that's that's what I did for this. Um, and, of course, they bring in Logan from the side. Like I said, I started doing this before I knew all this. I have this, which is like a little... Um, this would go down way deep, right about to here. And this opens up. This will actually be the dungeon um, where you can bring... Um, prisoners up of course the, the the white tower does have a basement as well so that's something i'm going to eventually have to build out i'm not sure i might use some of these like extra rooms that i'm not really using um like this room to maybe put us like passage ways down and opens up into the and then of course in the library we'll have um and the library's gonna be back here which i still need to figure out how i'm gonna do that I'm excited to do it. This is going to be the library going out towards this behemoth of a thing. Um, which is pretty cool because I already am going to be able to do underground part, like the 13th Depository. Because, um, guess what? <laughs> Look at this. This already came in the game. Underneath is already... We already got uh, all dug out because it came like that. <laughs> you know, it's one of the mines already and I built over that. But yeah, so... You know, going down underneath here. But... What's really cool about the, the library, at least the way it's described in the books, is it, it's a dome structure. So I'm going to build a square. I'm going to, on the top, I'm going to um, build a flat roof and then build a dome structure over that. Try to make a circle um, as best I can, make a dome. But the thing is, the dome structure then has coming off of it like what looks like waves cresting outside. So you can picture like, like a dome and then like waves crashing from all 360 degrees off the side. So using like a light blue and a white to get that foaming water effect. Um, you know, I might even use some of that terracotta, uh, you know, like stuff like this. Um, just so at far away, it looks more like white, white like waves crashing. And then you use like a light blue and some white in there too. Maybe something like this as well. Um, these like gray are this blue, uh, this white terracotta with the blue. Things like that I can use to to really uh, make it look like a wave. At least I'm gonna try. That's that's when I hope I have help by then. We'll see. Um, um, so and then of course we'll keep building this up. I think from what I read, they actually raised raised the roof, uh, raised the ceiling height. Um, so I might change some things because uh, normally it's 256. If you see that number counting up. So the normal ceiling height is right, coming up, coming up, coming up, it's really high. Here, or here. I can see the clouds are higher. 
could usually hit the clouds a lot lower than that. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the clouds seem to be higher up. Yeah, the sun's going, or that's the moon rising. There's the sun. Um, I do have this, the daytime schedule on so you can see it. See, now it's starting to get dusky, if you look that way. We'll expand out the river, dig it all out, and build all the town around here. It's all be a flat ground instead of on like a hill like it was in the TV show. Um, of course, some of this I can already use. You can see, you can see the light strip. That's where I kind of marked off the edge of the city. It's cool that it does that at night. That's actually a really cool effect. Glad it does that. So you can now I can really visualize what the city will look like. Of course, there's the tower still. It doesn't render that far. But you can see then, as I go this way, get over there. Oh, come on, render. What's going on here? Oh, that's why, because I'm going to water. I'm like, where do the lights go? Alright, so this would be right here is where the South Harbor is going to be. And you can see kind of how that way is one side of the river, and that's the other side where it splits. I could show you the guys this last time because I don't think I have the nighttime cycle on. I like this a lot, where I can kind of just fly around and see this light strip. Because um, I put down torches to mark out the barrier of the, of the city. Um, definitely see it that way. Of course, there's the tower again. You can see the tower this time. And then that, that, that line right there, I see where the pointer is. Uh, that's where the wall is going to be. But yeah, and then the North Harbor uh, will be up here, in theory. Probably a little maze to get to it, because no one really can find the North Harbor. That's a joke from the books, because if you know, you know. Um, <laughs> so that's the... Uh, North Harbor will be over here. Of course, there's no water anywhere around here right now. There are some... What are these? Foxes? Of course, there's there's foxes at the North Harbor. They're hanging right out. <laughs> All foxy-like. Um, and then, you know, build it out, and the river will just keep winding up uh, North Ward and South Ward uh, from there. Um, you know, if we get enough people and actually build a big enough server, I mean, eventually we'll expand out further than Tarvala, but all this needs to be cleared out. I mean, it's going to literally take hours and hours of manpower, so unless I get help, um, it just might be a kind of a project I work on every now and then. If you watch this video on YouTube and you want to help and you have some experience playing Minecraft, um, I'm happy to make a server. Um, actually, I had one for a little bit, but I end up not, because I don't want to pay monthly if no one else is going to use it. Um, it's up to you guys. What we can do is we can kind of use these. I can send out private videos or set up a different channel on my Discord server. Um, that's, you know, by invite only, it'll be a private channel that are the builder, you know, we can call it the Ogear channel or something like the builders. And um, glory to the builders. And we can set out like design and, and talk about things before you actually do anything. So that's something we can definitely work on. Um, so anybody watching this video that wants to help build, um, by all means, um, let me know. Um, you can DM me or email me. Um, the wheel reads at gmail.com is my email address. And happy to uh, maybe open up a server and try to get this going a little faster. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and log off. But that's it. Uh, uh, until next time, guys. Peace.